Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. How great to see everybody here. I trust you enjoyed my last video from the man with golden flute, James Galway. Sold 30 million albums. Um, and we looked at when he went solo and, and how gutsy and courageous that actually is. So I trust you found that one encouraging. So we look at it for our own lives. We're going from there to 1974 in Homer, Alaska. Uh, this girl uh, did singing and yodeling with her dad, named Jewel Kilcher. She'll just get on to adopt the stage name, Jewel. Uh, Jewel actually won a scholarship, a partial, partial scholarship at the age of 15 to study operatic music. Um, and when she completed that, she started performing around the San Diego, San Diego area in California. Uh, she was actually signed to Atlantic Records at the age of 21. And it's around that 1995 period that she released the album Pieces of You. Now, this album was absolutely massive. Um, Jewel is, first of all, she's got the look that always helps. She has got an absolutely stunning, pure voice. This girl's voice is absolutely amazing. It's got a bit of a country twang to her. A soprano range so she can get up high when she needs to as well. Absolutely pure, really, in many, many ways. And because of this incredible voice, um, she really will just hit the ground round, round running. A piece of you went 12 time platinum, so absolutely massive. The record company were very, very happy indeed. Uh, a song of that one, um, You Were Meant For Me, um, got the official and live version of that one. In fact, um, as I was watching the official clip of this one, I thought, "Oh, I just have to send the, I just have to send this one off to my girl who's currently overseas, and just to really just know that I'm just thinking of her. Um, just really just captures us absolutely. You were meant for me. I was meant for you. Um, how what a beautiful thing to be able to say to somebody. Hey, we just really meant to be for each other. In fact, us is meant to be for us." It's got an official and live version of that one. Um, out in 1998, we had this song, the album Spirit, come out. Uh, the song Hands. Now, I was in a band. We were very fortunate to be able to play play this one. And for someone who plays the keyboards <laughs> and this piano, I suppose, um, piano ballad, power ballad, it was good to be able to, be able to play this song live a few times. Hands. The, the official clip is pretty, pretty confronting as well. Um, it's about um, a house that's obviously had a fire and just the whole se series of people that they find through the wreckage of that building. Jewel almost takes on a bit of an angelic, um, a, a angelic persona in this particular song, but it just kind of works. Um, uh, you know, you could almost be seen to be a little bit, you know, too good. But in this particular clip, um, Jewel just, it just kind of works really, really well as the girl that realises. And the story goes that uh, she was um, uh, thinking about stealing a sundress after losing some work. But she thought, hey, that's not cause such a good idea. Let's actually write songs instead. So it just goes to show that her hands have written many, many beautiful songs over the years. And to make that choice all the way back then, realising that there is power in our hands that they can do some really, really constructive, great things. And I think when we, when we consider our own small part of the world that we're in, we think about the influence that we have. We may not think we've actually got much to offer, but you know what? We do. All we need, so one of the lines of this song, in the end, only kindness matters. Kindness can happen with our smile with someone. Kindness, kindness has happened with a gesture of kindness with our hands. Um, Hands are just one of these things that enable us to give back. Hands enable us also to receive when kindness is offered in our direction. The last thing we want, we want to do is reject kindness, don't we? Because, you know, someone has thought, hey, I'm just reaching out to you with kindness. Um, so we've got to be able to receive kindness when it gets offered to us as well. 
So um, let's not be scared to make a difference in our small part of the world. We may not be able to make a difference in the big part, like massive worldwide, but in our small part of the world, there's just many, many parts of that aren't there. So let's also consider how kindness can matter as we show it to other people. So official and live version of that one. Then go forward uh, a few years later. I forgot to put the year down. I think it was 2001. We got the album This Way. Am I standing still? At this point, um, Jill was being was pretty pretty successful, and she's thinking, "Hey, what else can I do? What else can I actually do to make a difference?" And so she just thought of a bit of a reflecting on her own life. Am I standing will still? We've got a official clip of that one. Move forward, 2008. We've got the album 0304. She does a bit about reinventing herself, and she came up with um, you know electric pop. The song Stan, which is all about asking the questions about where we are going with life. One of the great things about Jewel is um, that she's not scared to actually push into the unknown and push into the, the bit more tragic, awkward times of life. Life just seems to carry on no matter what. And sometimes we need people to speak to to say, hey, does it need to keep going the way it already has? So we've got a TV version and we've also got the official clip of Stan. Um, she's won a few awards as girl. Um, she's a uh, five San Diego Music Awards, ASCAP Pop Awards, American Music Awards, BMI Awards, Billboard Music Awards. And she's been nominated quite a few times, including for a Grammy. So Jewel has been absolutely recognised by the industry as being a major, major contributor to it. Pretty well from 1995 up until now. So her first album, I did celebrate a 25 year anniversary in 2020 and did get acknowledged and re released at that point. Between 1995 and 2022, there's been 13 studio albums, four live albums, five compilation albums, five video albums, 35 music videos, seven EPs, and 38 singles, estimated to have sold 30 million albums. So um, for someone who, you know, the industry has absolutely embraced and loved, so has the public. 30 million albums is pretty, pretty amazing, and she well and truly has contributed to this legacy, this con collaborative legacy of this thing called music. So um, it's good to be able to acknowledge this girl today. So the links to those uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, seven clips are in the description below and I've also included my last video on James Galway so if you want to recap on him feel free well if this is your first time to life reflections through music or you've come back for another one how great to see everybody here this is a little channel that could and um, at the time of recording this video 78 subscribers so you know that's all you guys are very very special and significant to me so thank you for hanging in there well next time we're going to get on to jim crochet so until then i'll catch you around bye for now <laughs>